Alright, hello, and welcome to another episode of Clash of Clans with Jaw Wolf 18. Today, we're gonna go over my Town Hall 8.5. So let's go ahead and jump over there right now. Yep, damage. Damage. No. Where's my Archer Queen? This is what I wanted to show you guys. So, I haven't actually shown you guys my Archer Queen in quite some time, so now she is level 5. Pretty cool. I actually just got done upgrading her probably like a couple, I'd say about 16 hours ago or something about like that. Somewhere around there. So I think she was taking like two days to upgrade now. But anyways. Yep. So glad I got my Archer Queen level 5. Now she's got the hero ability. If you have all also may have noticed, I'm actually upgrading some of my camps. So I got that one upgrading. I just got this camp left. And then the two camps down here are already done. So, yep, I've been making some progress on my Town Hall 8.5. I haven't touched anything inside the lab, though. So, I'm kind of slacking in that department. So, hopefully, you know, I can finally start doing some more upgrades. You know, next, after I get done with these Elixir camp stuff... Then I'll probably move over to the Dark Barracks. Get both of those things up to max level. Because I really want to get the Lava Hounds. Because if I get matched up with the Town Hall 8. You know, those Lava Hounds will just go right through those guys' bases. You know, the Lava Hounds with the Balloons. It's a pretty awesome, devastating attack. Especially for Town Hall 9. Good old Lava Loon. All right, so here we are at my town hall 8.5. Looks like somebody just sniped my town hall, and they tried to tap my my drill over there. I see. But anyways, this is actually the new base that I have right now. I think I might go a little bit more intricate, but right now I'd say the reason why I like this hasn't been tested yet. But the reason why you know I think I'll like this is because of the range between the wall and the gold storage right here and that'll cause the wizards and whatnot to go outside the base instead of going inside but that's all in theory right now so we haven't actually tested that out and so that the giants will go into the zone and then the hopefully the wizards and stuff that target trash buildings go on the outside of the base at least in theory. <laughs> a lot of this is hypothetical because it has not been tested yet, so. But we already know that this trap right here works with the double big bombs. And we already know that this trap works with the spring traps because I've used this in many of my bases. And. The Archer Queen, I got her up here. The reason why I have her up here is because I only have three air defenses. So I'm kind of using her as an air defense. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's going on with her up there. I had two little extra wall pieces left, so I didn't know what to do with them. <laughs> and let's see. So I finished all my walls. I'm working on my gold storage and my elixir storage right now. And then I'm also working on the air sweeper. The reason why I got the air sweeper is because it's a defense that doesn't do any damage. So I'm hoping that the thing doesn't really calculate it as a defense. But we'll see. You know, that's just my theory on it. But I haven't really tested it out and see if it's, you know, practical use. You now, the reason why, you know, I want it is because, you know, like I said, it doesn't do any damage. And it actually will help me a lot, you know, defending against dragon attacks. Because I don't have three air defenses yet. Or four air defenses yet, I'm sorry. So that's really where that's going to come into play. So we'll see if two air, two air sweepers and three air defenses... Alright, so now let's jump into some of those old replays that I got. This is actually when I was raiding a little bit earlier today. 
That was about seven hours ago. This is one of the last ones I did. Pretty good raid. It's like almost 200,000 gold in the Elixir. Unfortunately, I did not come anywhere close to the dump Elixir I spent to get this, but... I mean, you lose some, you win some, right? This one, I kind of just like flew up to the base. This is the last raid that I had of the day, so that's why I was like, you know, I just use all my spells, it doesn't matter anyway. I'm not gonna be raiding in the morning, anyway. And, and I just flew up to the <laughs> That was pretty awesome. Got the one more elixir story left. A few defenses left. But I'm not too worried about those. Unfortunately, the giants didn't quite do their job because they're too slow <laughs> compared to the Valkyries. So I lost quite a few Valkyries instead of losing the giants. And maybe if they had like a, a new tank that moves fast. And I think that would be a pretty useful trait. Right now, the golems and the giants just don't move that really fast. So that's what causes my other troops to get targeted, especially with Valkyries. When I use Valkyries, they're like always being targeted first. <laughs> and I don't want them to be targeted first. I want them to be protected. So, I hope they will come out with a new trick to that. Okay, let's jump into this one right here. But anyways, like I said, and hopefully, you know, that new trick is going to be, I'm hoping, like, a fast tank. You know, that would severely help the ground units out. And then, or a, a buffer troop. I know that's supposed to be a new hero that's supposed to be coming out. So, you know, that should be pretty interesting. I don't know if it's just going to be for Town Hall 11, though. And then, another one that I was kind of hoping that they'd come out with as well would be like a range wall breaker. I don't know if you have it like a witch that summons a bunch of wall breakers and just like plows through walls or something, but or just have a special troop that just like throws wall like bombs at walls and blows up walls that way. But you know, with the inferno towers, because you know, I'm a town hall nine and I go up against town hall tens, I'm pretty much screwed because my wall breaker, my rage wall breaker strategy does not work on them. I don't have free spells, so I am at a pretty huge disadvantage right there. But we'll see. I'm really hoping that they come out with like a range wall breaker type of deal. You know, faster or a tank. You know, that might be a little bit more that might be useful, but I'm really, really hoping that they come out with like a range wall breaker. But this one, yeah, I ended up leaving some loot back, but it, it wasn't a whole lot. I mean, it was just like a percentage of whatever was inside the town hall. Alright, and then after this one, I'm just going to show you guys some of my older replays. Um, one of my old bases from Town Hall 8, that was pretty awesome. Unfortunately, you know, I'm not Town Hall 8 anymore, so I'm just, you know, just getting rid of all those old videos. <laughs> so, all right, you know, check those out.
All right, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Feel free to add me on Lime. My ID is Wolf 18 In the top left is the Clashcom slash Halloween slash my 8.5 announcement. You know, in the bottom left is my Town Hall 8.5 breakdown. You know, it goes through, you know, how exactly you should be doing your Town Hall 8.5 because I know there's a lot of YouTubers out there that do this. And then the two-part epic fail, that's the first part of it. It's pretty good. And then the bottom right is the spotlight on my Town Hall 8 Village. That last video I showed you was the only video that did not end up inside there. And I wish I could have put it in there. <laughs> because it was a great video.